Thousands of dollars of gym equipment auctioned off and the profits have yet to be seen. A former Clay County gym owner has been fighting for years to get the money he says he's owed back. In an on your side investigation hour, Haley Harrison found out he's not the only alleged victim. It started with the auction company taking pictures of the gym equipment, putting them on its website. Then the equipment was sold off during an auction in December 2020. And, uh, that's when everything started on one. After the auction closed, Sugarman Auction Corp sent former gym owner Rob Jennis an invoice which shows the equipment sold for a little more than $92,000. According to the contract, Sugarman was supposed to pay Jennis his share, $76,000, within 15 days. But Jennis says the check never came. Day 15 became day 30 and then so on. And then um, um, I sought some advice to try to get the money back. In March 2021, Jennis filed a report with the Clay County Sheriff's Office. According to documents from its investigation, Sugarman's owner, Scott Grasso, had a history of financial issues stemming from real estate transactions. Detectives learned Grasso, quote, allegedly took out several high interest loans in order to go into business with a company in Orlando, Florida, and was struggling to pay back the over $1 million in debt. Detectives said one of Grasso's associates explained this was the reason that Grasso had not been able to pay Jennis. The honor side team called and texted Grasso. He responded in part via text, quote, For months, my lawyers and I have been trying to work this out with Rob and his potential creditors, but he has refused our offers. According to the report from the sheriff's office, Grasso offered a payment plan, which would involve Jennis signing a new contract, something he is unwilling to do. Although the financial issue is not settled, the investigation was closed in May 2021 and labeled unfounded. In a statement to the On Your Side team, the sheriff's office said its financial crimes unit reviewed the case with the state attorney's office and concluded the case is a civil matter, not a criminal one. But Jennis reportedly not the only one who's had problems getting his share. The On Your Side team uncovered eight complaints filed with the Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulation against Grasso's auctioneer license. All of the complaints claiming a failure to pay our return within a reasonable time, money or property. According to a final order from the state agency's board of auctioneers, Grasso's license was temporarily suspended in April 2021. His license is still currently inactive, the agency's communications director says, due to unpaid fines to the state. I'm, I'm not going to let him get by because my biggest concern is, yes, the money's important, but he's done this to quite a few people. To prevent finding yourself in a similar situation, the president of the Better Business Bureau of Northeast Florida advises doing research before hiring an auctioneer. That includes checking out the BBB and Florida state license websites for complaints and checking Google reviews before contacting an auctioneer. Uh, find out about the cost beforehand, what his foot, his fee is gonna be, what it covers and what additional costs you might have such as rent of a place or clean up afterwards or that sort of thing. Get a contract and make sure that everything that you that he tells you orally is in the contract. As of Thursday, Sugarman and Scott Grasso both appear on this active auctioneer website. Jenna says he hopes the state attorney's office reconsiders taking on the case as a criminal matter. And, and until they get caught and are held accountable, they're going to keep uh, doing this to folks. I'm Healy Harrison, First Coast News on your side. Hmm. And if you have